Hello everybody and welcome back to Yankee Dab, where of course every day is a train show. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at some items that hopefully will be finding their way on your layout. We're going to start with some buildings from Woodland Scene again. These are a just a, an example of some of the buildings that we have here in our store. Let's take a look over here in both HO and N. I have various different structures here. For example, this is the Buzz Saw Mill. That is really cool. Look at all the detailing that's happening there. I love the different belts that they have there and whatnot. If you take a look at the back engineer hall up top, you're going to see I have sawdust, I have lumber there. I mean, a lot of really cool stuff happening. If you go over to the next one, this is actually an N scale building. This is the municipal building. And I love that nice little city hall there. I love the fact there's a cannon in there, just in case, you know, you got to get ready for... Uh, Militia or something? I don't know. Something. Single boom. Yeah. I uh, here I have here the Davenport Department Store, and I love that. And you know what I particularly love about these buildings? that have the blinds. If you notice, some of them look kind of askew. I mean, you have the various different mannequins in the uh, wall there. Let's go here. See how some of the blinds are kind of like not necessarily perfect. I mean, this is a really great detailing building. I have here an HO building here for the Smith Brothers TV and appliance store. And that is really cool. And I want to say, I actually think the TVs turn on in there and they like kind of flicker, which is pretty cool. What show do you think they're watching, Engineer Hall? Friends. Friends. Nah, I think they're watching What's New at Yankee Dabbler. Oh, even better. Yeah. And then I have here the smallest thing Engineer Hall thing could find. This is the Gibbs Clubhouse in N Scale. Surprisingly, that's eight hundred thousand dollars right there. No, that is a really neat looking building there. You have a little kids' clubhouse, but we have a whole bunch of these different woodland scenic buildings here. They light up. They really uh, accent your layer really well. I said it before, but we really focus on the trains, the rolling stock, maybe even the scenery. Sometimes the buildings get a little bit. Uh, put by the wayside here so check out our website yankeedabler.com and see what woodland bu scenic buildings will look great in your environment we're gonna do a little game here and now on our show here kind of break it up engineer hall you want to play sure what you got for all me today right, so we're gonna do an old-fashioned hangman Ooh, are you ready so uh -huh. what letters do you have here uh s s all right we got a couple of s's here very good all right what else we got n and let's see, I have two ends right down here. Oh, I got one more. Hang on a second. I got a couple more, actually. And uh, uh, there. Oh, how about a vowel? Sure. E. E. You want an E here? I think you have an idea of what I'm going for here. Let's see. I'm just going to make sure I'm getting this right. Uh, and I got one more. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I got an R-E. Okay. A L. L. I got two here. You want to guess what this is? Do you think you know? No. I think you do. Let me see. Oh, subscribe to the Engineer Hall channel. That's right. Very good. Good job here. As old things show up. Very good. Oh, that's awesome. You that's some long luck. Good job. All right. Let's see if the rest of our employees here are as quick as you are. And speaking of uh, things that go quick, if you put them on the train, it goes really fast. Let's take a look at these 60 foot bulkhead flat cars here. Check these guys out here. I really enjoy these. These are from Walters here, and I have a couple of different iterations of here. I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I have here some company. I'm not even going to try to pronounce. I have here a trailer train, and finally the body odor train. Oh, the Baltimore Ohio, that's what that stands for. But these are really great looking cars here if you're going for a closer inspection here. Very basic cars, but everyone needs a bulkhead cover flock, all right? Mm -hmm. Got the writing there. Got nice couplers here. I think these are metal couplers, Engineer Hall. Huh? Yeah, I think they're Protomax from uh, Walters, right? Cool. These are really neat looking flat cars here, and everybody needs some flat cars on your layout. Now, the retail value of these cars is $34.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.34, I'm sorry, $29.73. And the neat thing about them is I have, once again, multiple different road numbers. So if I want to get a couple BNSFs, I can put them together. I have a nice long BNSF train. I think that's a great idea. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these bulkhead flat cars today. All right, so we got some new things that we're going to be taking a look at in the end scale world. Are you ready? Sure, that's so. All right. DJ, can I play your game? What? Can I play your game? Oh, okay. 
Well, I like he, games. Yes, so here's your next one. Come over here. Okay. Yeah. So you have to give me a letter to give me your Q. secret. Q. No. No, no Q. Seven. Okay, it's letters. We're doing letters here, okay? Uh, W. No, no W. Getting better, though. At least that's a letter. Give me uh, something. Thorn? What? It's the little P-looking thing. No. Hold on, 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 I'm help you out. Um, give him a, a, a I. I? Yes, there's an I, very good. I told you I was good at this. There you go, there you go. I don't think you did that one. All right, give me, give me something else. Q? Uh, you already guessed Q. Oh. Sorry. All right. Um, wait, wait, before you do it, Christian, we'll think about it, okay? You got it. You got to think about it real on. closely. Think this. about can it. I get, can I guess the phrase, DJ? Sure. Is it Batman? <laughs> You should go like find something shiny and we'll try this again later, okay. okay? This is shiny. Can I play again? Anyway, we have some new things from the end scale world. We're going to take a look at some micro chains. Check these guys out here. So these are uh, various uh, car packs here. This is the Chessie System 4 car runner pack here. And they got some hopper cars there. Then I have a CSX kind of flat car here. What is that, like a maintenance away system? Oh, it's a repair. Like a the trains get wrecked, they throw on top of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, Very cool. good. Then I have here another runner pack. This is the Burlington Northern Santa Fe boxcars. And look, the doors even open up. It's pretty cool. So you could put whatever you want in there. And then I have another runner pack here of um, Union Pacific. These are bulk kick cover black cars. How about that? Cool. And hey, you know what I can put inside these uh, packs right here? What? Some Peruvian. So what? Peruvian. What's that? Don't worry about that, but keep going. Okay. Well, these are really neat looking cars here, packs here, and Microtrains does a great job with their uh, detailing. For example, if you just take a look, I'm going to take out one of these chassis cars here. I mean, let's look how nice of a car that is. I love the design of these cars here. Even the roofs look great here. Nice undercarriage detail here. These are great looking cars here. And if you're looking to get, I mean, let's face it, no one's just getting one hopper car. So this is a great way to get a bunch of different variations. So the uh, Chessy and the Burlington Northern packs, we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $115.96. Remember, you're getting four cars each. For that CSX repair train, that one sells for $111.96. And then for the Union Pacific uh, flat cars, you got those for $99.99. So again, you get very nicely detailed cars here. You're getting multiple, so you have a nice long unit train. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Come to Yankee Dabbler and get these rolling today. Why don't we have Ken participate in our game? Maybe he can solve Christian's puzzle here. That was a little I bit I can do it. <sighs> okay. I even brought my trees. Okay, put the trees away. Okay. But you said I could have Okay. I, I don't know what's wrong with you. All right, ready? So give me a letter. Come on, this is easy. Wait, we're a train I've been store. Okay. Q. No, you already guessed Q. There's no Q. Why not? No. Guess something else. We're a train Hashtag. store. Hashtag. That's not a letter. I. Guess he has our shoe now. Okay, come on, give me something. Um, come on, train store, train store. Seven. That's a number, dude. Letters, trains, terrain. I. You got an I. I got two eyes. <sighs> okay. Give me a letter that's not already here. It's not a Q. It's not a number. I call my mom. She's good at this. Okay, go call your mom then. Okay. Bye. Well, you know uh, what? We, we... <laughs> anyway, we've been doing a various different uh, types of shows featuring engines from different railroads, and today Engineer Hall wanted to do CSX. So let's take a look. Why did you? Why didn't you want to do Norfolk Southern? Ah, uh, you know what. Uh, we'll do next Norfolk Southern another time, but now it's CSX time to right, shine. CSX All right, CSX time. So let's take a look. I have some HO and N scale locomotives for your choosing. Let's start here with the N scale uh, right in the middle here. So I have, believe it or not, a chassis system is part of CSX or was part of CSX. And that is an SD7. Really cool looking engine. Now I have a GP40. Engineer Hall, who do you think makes that one? You mean by uh, who? Manufacturer. A manufacturer, uh, Atlas? That is an Atlas, oh, and so okay. is the SD7. How about these next two engines here? Now, this is a SD40. Who do you think makes that one? Oh, uh, Scout Train. Scout You're train. very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. What about the next one? That is a C39-8. 
That's a good look. Around. It's also got to be scale trains. Yep. So we got two scale trains here. Now let's take a look at some of these HO engines here. Let's start out with this guy right here in the back here. Who do you think makes that one? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think Athrin makes this one here. You are correct, all right? And that is an AC 4400CW. That's a mouthful right there. Then I have here a, another Athrin engine. This is an ES44. And then I have here an engine from... What company makes this one? Oh, wait a minute. I, I think this might be Scale Trains. No, that's... Oh, wait. That is Scale Trains. Did I say after? You said after. My bad. Scale that is Scale Trains. Trains. All right. And this is a Scale Trains as well. And this is a slug. Oh, you know what? What's, what's the mother at? That's the that's the, the baby. I don't know. That's the slug. Now, let's take a look over here. We got an Atlas Maintenance Away uh, engine here. And then I have here an Athern engine. This is the ES44 that I was thinking about. No, no, no. I think this no, is No, this 90. is... What is this? I think this is SD, SD90. No, it's SD80. My 80. bad. Oh, SD80, my okay. bad. SD80, my wow. bad, my bad. We should probably edit all this out, but we're not going to. No, we're definitely not. All right, this is an F40PH. I'm a steam guy. I know that stuff better. This is a Walters engine. And then we're going to conclude with this Atlas engine here. This is a U30C, another chassis engine as well. Now, CSX, of course, is a railroad that is around the eastern part of the United States here. It kind of got what um, broken up of what uh, North, or Conrail gave to Norfolk Southern, some of it, and CSX got the rest of it, right? And what are some of the railroads that uh, encompass CSX Engineer Hall? I don't need to tell me. Well, you got to look at it. There's various heritage engines coming up recently. For example, there's Baltimore and Ohio. There's a Seaboard Coastline. There is um, the Chessie system. There's a bunch of uh, and, uh, railroads that have been incorporated to CSX. We have a whole bunch of them here in various different colors. I always kind of like the CSX paint schemes right at the Norfolk Center because it's black and white. A little boring to me. But we got some really neat looking colors here. We got the grays, we got the yellows, we got the blues, even have an orange here. And I love that chessy look as well. So let's see some of these in action, shall we?
So those are some pretty awesome engines. I'm having a fun time playing with them, and you can have a fun time playing with them too, if, again, for your layout. So for N-Scale, if you're interested in the SC7, uh, that sells for $179.99, as well as the GP40. 
And then the two scale train, uh, scale train, tra the scale trains, trains. That's hard to say. The SD40, which is two forty nine ninety nine, and the C thirty nine dash eight. That's two fifty four ninety nine. So great deals to get on those engines. If you're interested in some of the HO engines here, the Slug two seventy nine ninety nine. The AC forty four thousand forty four hundred CW that's two ninety one ninety nine. The maintenance away engine is two nineteen. The U thirty C is one ninety nine. The F forty PH is one seventy nine ninety nine, and the ES forty four is two ninety nine ninety nine. So some great deals again. Some awesome engines. If you're a CSX fan or just want to model some of the new things or the current things that you see on today's rails, come to Yankee Dabble and get some of these engines on your rails today. I know you're gonna love it. Before we start our recap, let's finally get Ken here to participate in our game here. Now, this is a tricky one. So, Ken, are you ready? Yep. Ken, check out this one. This is a long one, all right? So, let's see if you can figure this out, all right? You want to give me a letter? The Erie Lackawanna Railway operated between 1960 and 1976. What? Um, that's exactly what that was. How did you know that? All right. It makes sense you, now. You spend 40% of your money on Lackawanna and 40% on Erie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That was a little scary. Um, why don't you go outside and play or, or something? Do something that's not Erie Lackawanna. Thanks, Ken. That was a little terrifying. Can you bleed it? That's good, though. All right. Anyway, so let's take a look at all the things that we saw on today's show here. And we're going to start with our, well, our recap here. So let's see. We had a whole bunch of CSX show. Isn't this pretty for a CSX fan? Seeing all these engines together. They got to love it. This has got to be awesome here. So we have here from Walters, we had these bulkhead flat cars. Mm -hmm. We have from Woodland Scenic a whole bunch of different buildings here. And I have more, so check them out on the website there to get all the different prices. We even put the little numbers here so you can type in the numbers there of the one you want. We had here from Micro Trains, we had all those uh, runner packs there. Or, there's something that we didn't see in today's show, but that's okay. You can always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in the search bar what you're looking for so we can get it sent to you. So you have just a plethora amount of time of railroading fun. Does that sound good, Engineer Hall? How much time do you think you're going to uh, spend on it? Uh, way too much. Way too much. Let's put it that way, all right? There you go. Speaking of uh, spending too much time, if you have some spend, uh, left over, rather, subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel. Get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that we have here. Bunch of videos, a bunch of trains, and a bunch of fun. We're going to conclude with our rail fan video. We saw all these CSX engines, right, Engineer Hall? They look very nice. That's right. All right. So uh, let's go to Norfolk Southern for our rail fan video. Why not? Why so, not? Yeah, here's the Norfolk Southern engine. I hope you enjoy it. And if you excuse me, I'm going to have to, well, I'm going to have to pack all the stuff up here. And sadly, Christian couldn't figure out. I think out I know it. it now. I called my mom. All right. You called your mom. Do you yeah. think you know what it is? Yeah, I think I want to solve it. Okay, go ahead. Christian, get out of the basement. No. Okay. Wow. Look, this is very simple, okay? We're a train store, so I'm going to give you a hint. This one begins with a T, okay? I don't know that one. So, you don't know the letter T. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about if I do this? I'm going to keep going. T R. Candy cane. Okay. I'm going to give you the first uh, word, mm. okay? What do you got? That's a snake. Okay. Sound this out. Trans. Tra okay, trains. 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 Is that French? Okay, no. Okay. R. No, R looks like that one. Candy cane. I, 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 okay. That's, R, I don't know what R, those ones R, are. R, this is, okay. And then I'm going to conclude it F R U e. N. Oh. Okay, can you just say it? Trains, trains are, are fun. Fun. So what's it say? Is it Batman? Can I keep this? 